Only on two, a Northwest Indiana town wins a huge federal grant called Safer to make residents, well, safer. Makes sense. Makes sense, yeah. So the money will enable the local fire department to hire seven more men and women. So this round of recruitment is getting a little more, some more hits than usual because the job description says no experience necessary. CBS 2's Lauren Victory live with this search for new first responders. Lauren. Well, hi there, Joe and Marie. The population of Crown Point is growing, and its fire department wants to grow with it. Here's the issue. It takes three years of classes and on-the-job training to become a fully certified firefighter paramedic. And normally, Crown Point doesn't have time for that. They tend to hire seasoned first responders, kind of piecemeal, to keep up with those retirements. This grant changes the game. Reaching for the stars is how the Crown Point Fire Chief hopes to handle hiring. That they can start on day one and pretty much don't need any, any additional training. Those are the unicorns, they're, they're hard to find. Even with action-packed shifts and butt-kicking footage like this, recruitment is just not as easy as it was in the past. We used to fill up a uh, school cafeteria full of people wanting uh, to become a firefighter. And now we're lucky to fill up a, a table or two inside the cafeteria. What is your favorite part of the job? So helping the community. It's a big part is just being involved with the community, helping the community. Jeremy Golick is one of the brave guys climbing the ladder here. He's not sure what caused the dip in interest in his line of work, but here's the effect. A recent job posting with the description, no experience or certifications necessary. We have to kind of open it up and bring in people that are completely green. Don't worry, the first responders won't be responding without training, and Crown Point Fire just received the gift of time to get them certified. A $2.2 million federal grant called SAFER pays for the salaries and benefits of seven firefighter paramedics for three years. Given recent hiring struggles, the chief says it's likely some of the seven recruits will come in with no experience. Expanding the team means more crews on the clock at once, piloting more trucks to respond to an emergency. That being staffed can get to a fire quicker and be able to get those uh, important life-saving tasks done in a more timely manner. The deadline for applying is just after New Year's, but the chief might move that up because more than 100 people have already sent in their applications for the seven spots. He thinks the higher interest this time around is because he's not requiring experience, but also because the minimum age was lowered from 21 to 18. Reporting live in Crown Point, Indiana, I'm Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Thanks, Lauren.